Um, this is interesting. This is uh, some sound that just came in. I want to show you Ken Buck taking kind of a parting shot here. You know, maybe the answer is you don't need these guys. Maybe you just don't need some of the politicians that aren't going to really do the work. I mean, it's not pleasant. It's not fun. I get it. You know what? There's a reason I'm not in politics. But hey, if you're going to be there, do the job. Do your part for your constituents and your Leaving country. Leaving Congress at the end of next week. I am, yes. I'm, I'm resigning my seat and, and creating a vacancy um, in my district. Why? Well, everywhere I go in Colorado, Dan, I hear that people are not happy with Trump and they're not happy with Biden. And uh, I think we need to change our electrical, electoral laws here. Um, and I have a passion for that. And I'm going to leave and I'm going to find the right organization to join. And I'm going to start working on that issue. We have to have better candidates up and down the ballot, not just president, but Senate, House, uh, local offices. We've got to find better ways to elect candidates and bring America together. You already had announced that you were going to not run for re-election. Why leave now and leave a vacancy in an already very narrow majority for your party? Yeah, because it's it, to me it's important to get in the mix of this uh, election cycle and start talking about the issues that people recognize are, are such a problem right now. You know, uh, our uh, my colleague Melanie Zanona is reporting that uh, there is such tension among House Republicans that many of them aren't even going to a retreat that's going to happen at the end of this week. Is, is that tension part of why you're leaving so abruptly? I, I think this place is dysfunctional. For example, I am the, the number third ranking member of the Judiciary Committee. I haven't even asked my questions yet. Forty, fifty people have gone before me. But that, that could be personal. With, with well, it, it could respect. be personal, but, but, it, but a lot of this is personal, and that's the problem. Instead of having decorum, instead of uh, operating in a professional manner, this place has just evolved into this bickering and, and nonsense and not, not really doing the job for the American people. How much uh, of the fact that you are uh, leaving March 22nd, next Friday, how much does that have to do with uh, the fact that Trump is the presumptive nominee and you're not exactly a fan? Well, I don't think uh, whether he was the nominee or not, um, I, I think our system is broken in, in how we choose candidates and I want to get involved in that process. Is it really that miserable right now to be, I mean, from the outside in, it doesn't look that fun. From the inside in, is it that bad that you're saying... I'm done. It is the, the worst year of the nine years and three months that I've been in Congress. Um, and having talked to former members, it's the worst year in 40, 50 years uh, to be in Congress. But, but I'm leaving because I think there's a job to do out there that, that I want to go do. Anybody that you want to fill your seat? I, I have not gotten involved in that, and, and I'm going to stay out of it. And there's a primary in Colorado at the end of June? June 25th is the primary election in Colorado, right? And that, okay. Uh, Leaving Congress at the end of next week. I am, yes. I'm, I'm resigning my seat and, and creating a vacancy um, in my district. Why? Mm. Okay, so good riddance. You know what? You, you don't want to deal with it. I get it. It's a miserable place to be. Of course, I get it. So you're out. But why do you leave your colleagues in such a lurch? Like, why are you leaving in a position where now it's just a one vote spread difference between the left and the right? I mean, that just kind of tells me, like, you're, you're not really committed what kind of job offer did you get to go fix the election system, uh, right? Congressman Buck, I mean, w why would you leave the party, the country, at a time when actually, you know what? It's so close, it's so razor thin that if your seat goes to a Dem, like we could be seeing Jeffries as Speaker of the House in all seriousness. And so I, I don't buy this. I find this to be um, pretty concerning.